Guys, I, uh, I have a confession, right? A very, very sad confession. A confession that's gonna break the heavens. It's gonna break the mold. It's gonna change everything you think you know about coffee combos. Oh my god, this music is so hype. Give me a second. Give me a second. We need some chill lo-fi. Let's calm down. Let's chill. Oh my god. Anyways, yeah, this is um, this is pretty devastating, and um, I hate to suddenly bring this upon you guys. And I understand if you want to unsubscribe. Um, I I clickbaited you all. I don't have coffee today. <laughs> I don't. I don't. The reason why is because I thought I was going to be able to make Keurig coffee, right? But I literally could not get the Keurig to work. It's Brooks's Keurig, and I bought the stuff for it. So I got, like, little cake cups, and I got, like, creamer, and it was really cute, and I was really excited about it. But, uh, yeah, no, I could not get the thing to turn on. I, I, don't, I don't know what was wrong with it. I don't know if it's broken or something. I swear it was plugged in, uh, but the thing would just not power on. So I was like, well, okay. All right, and there was not enough time for me to go to Starbucks. So I was just like, all right, I'll make some G Fuel and uh, just kind of rock out with it. But I, I understand, you know, uh, obviously if, you know, you guys want to unsubscribe, I totally, I totally understand that because at the end of the day, I have clickbaited you all and uh, it makes total sense as to why you guys would want to leave the channel indefinitely, but it's okay because uh, you can use code UNITED with 30% off if you are interested about that. But anyways, what is up my dudes? How you guys doing? Welcome back to another Coffee Convos. Not gonna lie, I feel like a potato today. It is a miracle that I am up this early. Yo! We have a new member! In the form of Tucker! Thank you so much for the membership! You just get access to videos early, member exclusive live streams, loyalty badges, emotes, all that great kind of stuff, as well as the ability to make poke effects for this weekend for the Astro Lock that's gonna be dropping on Monday. Yo, Ryan as well! Thank you so much for the membership! Yo, two members back to back! You guys are amazing! You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for the membership. I really do appreciate it. You guys are incredible. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys already know. Member exclusive live streams, loyalty badges, emotes, etc., etc., etc. And the biggest perk, the the limited edition perk, is that this weekend you members do have the opportunity to make poke effects for our Astro Lock. If you guys don't know what an Astro Lock is, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, definitely check out uh, the video that dropped on the channel uh, yesterday. It's episode zero. It's a super exciting custom lock type that has a lot of viewer engagement, and you guys are a huge part of that obviously but thank you all so much for your support i really do appreciate it uh, how much does membership cost it's five bucks a month you can cancel it at any time and uh, you can access to all the perks that are down below if you hit the join button it'll give you a full list or if you check the description uh, it'll give you a full list down there as well but um yeah you guys are the best thank you all so much as i said i feel like a potato right now i feel like a uh, a very sleep deprived potato i got like maybe Ah, like four four hours, something like that. But I don't know why, but it feels less. It feels like it feels like I got hit by a truck, to be honest. So I'm I'm roughing it out here, but I'm glad that we're doing this stream because as you guys could probably tell from the title of the stream, I have my college orientation today. So this stream is gonna be uh, pretty strictly an hour. I'm not gonna go past that. Uh, just because of the fact that I do have to make sure I get to that. It's going to be like an all-day thing, and uh, I got to make sure I'm like, you know, up and at, I'm there at a reasonable time, etc., etc. So, I figured it'd be cool to do a coffee convos before this, uh, the orientation, mainly because of the fact that, you know, A, I wanted to stream, and B, I, uh, I figured it would help me get up, uh, help me kind of wake up before I head over there. So, even though I got less sleep as a result of it, I think it's going to be good because now when, when I come out of this live stream and I go to orientation, I'm going to be like... You know, gonna be kind of, kind of already starting my day. So hopefully it all goes well. I'm very uh, nervous about it, honestly, just because it's I don't know, man. It's something that I've never had the opportunity to do before. Obviously, never done this whole college thing before. Um, so we'll see how it goes. But I, I'm optimistic. I think it'll be all right. I think it'll be all right. Uh, Frank, I can, I can care less about being clickbaited for less coffee and coffee combos. All right, I'm glad you don't mind. I'm glad you don't mind because I feel very bad about it. Uh, you know, I, you know, you think coffee combos, you think coffee, not G fuel, but you know, sometimes you just got to do what you got to do, you know? Hmm. Yo, Luke with a $5 super chat to move my head there. Thank you so much for the super chat, man. I really do appreciate it. He says, Frank, uh, damn you, no coffee. It's okay. I'm drinking wild turkey and it's 50, 50.5% alcohol. I might die. Holy shit. 
Holy shit. Yo, good luck with that, Luke. <laughs> good luck with that, man. Thank you so much uh, for the support. I appreciate it a lot. God, Dolly Wobby says, oh, I'll just go there and push G Fuel. Literally, man, I'm going to walk up in there and just start just, just, just handing it out. Just hand it out. Be like, Cody Knighted, bitches. What's good? It's going to be hype. It's going to be hype. Coffee combos, but like G Fuel gossips. Yeah, literally, man. Literally, and I, I would have changed like the title of the stream and all that. Um, but honestly, like this this literally happened like five minutes before the stream. When I scheduled the stream last night, I thought like I was gonna have coffee. I thought that was the plan, but no, it didn't end up working out. So yeah, dude, I'm an OG watcher. Yo, you're a legend, Shoya. 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 Hopefully, I pronounced that right. I'm very sorry if I didn't, but thank you so much for sticking around. What time is it over there? Cause it's 9 p.m. right now in Aus. It is. It's 7 a.m. 7 12. 7 12 a.m. I got orientation at 9 15, I believe, is the check in. So we're going to go till 8, and then uh, I'll probably head over there and do the college thing. So, hey, yo, Dolly Wob with the five dollars super chat. Thank you so much, Dolly Wob. Dolly Wob says, first coffee combo. I don't drink coffee, but I like G Fuel. Also, money. Also, can't wait to see you soon. Dude, right back at you, Dolly Wob. Thank you so much for uh, coming. I didn't even realize this was your first coffee combo, but thank you for chilling. Uh, thank you for hanging with us. And uh, hopefully you're doing well, man. I'm very excited to get to hang out with you. But um, yeah, no, it's um, it's cool, man. I really like these streams just because they are so laid back. They are so chill. And they're just kind of like, uh, there's a great start to my day, honestly, is the way to describe it. It's just a great start to a great day. Let me go ahead. Let me, you know, I love the Undertale soundtrack, but there's not a lot of like, like chill stuff. You know, it's mostly... Well, not mostly, but I would say like 50% is hype shit, and we're trying to like just find the the sort of lo-fi aesthetic. So requires a lot of a lot of skipping. But um, yeah, Dylan's proud of you. Yeah, he's a good boy. He's a good boy. Shout out to Dylan. Shout out to Dylan, man. Dylan's a good dude. I miss Dylan a lot, man. Even though I literally like saw him yesterday. <laughs> I still miss him, man. Dude, this whole orientation thing is gonna be. Oh boy, man. Like, I don't know. And it, it sucks too. Cause like a lot of people bring their parents to orientation. Like there's like a, like a parent, you know, section to this. Um, but uh, my parents aren't able to make it cause of work. And also, I mean, they're like four hours away. So it's like, you know, it's like, I'm literally lone wolfing this shit and I don't know how I feel about it, but I'm sure it'll go well. Hopefully I meet somebody and when uh, we just get to hang. But, um, anyways, what's your top three favorite anime? Ah, uh, oh boy, I don't really have a top three. I mean, my favorite is Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. That's my absolute favorite. And then I have a couple of other shows, like six other shows that are kind of like on the same tier for me. A couple of shows that I've just given like a perfect score, like uh, Steins Gate's up there, Gurren Lagan is up there. Uh, Code Geass is up there. Toradora is up there as well. Your name, um... What else have I given a perfect 10 out of 10? Uh, what else? Let me check my... I, I literally have an anime list. Let me check my anime list. Uh, but yeah, FMAB. FMAB is 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 my favorite show. Um, okay, yeah. So the, the shows that I've given a perfect score, it's uh, Steins Gate. Oh, it's Assassination Classroom. Um, I think that's it. I think that's it. It's Code Geass, Gurren Lagann, uh, Toradora. Oh, that's my alarm. Oopsie daisy. Um, Steins Gate, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, obviously. Assassination Classroom, Your Name. And uh, that's basically it. Attack on Titan. I like Attack on Titan. I haven't really gotten caught up. Let me cancel my alarms here. Um, I haven't gotten... What is going on, guys? This stops here. Okay, there we go. Um, I haven't gotten caught up with the new season, though. Like, I stopped watching after season two, and I don't remember a lot from it. So, I, uh, I definitely want to, like, get back into the show. I just, you know, haven't really had the chance. That's honestly me with a lot of shows right now. Is like me wanting to like get into things, but uh, I just kind of fell out of it or, you know, didn't have enough time to finish it or whatever it may be. But um, I liked what I saw of Attack on Titan, and I'm sure that the third season is good. I just uh, haven't gotten around to uh, to seeing it yet. Also, I'm going to try and fix the text. I don't know what what is going on like with this like text scaling. It, like some of them get so big and others get so small. It's weird, man. Like as it changes, it like changes sizes too. It throws me off like crazy. Anyways, I've never watched anime and have only read the Assassination Classroom manga. Is any good? Is any good? I would. I mean, I would assume it's good based on you know how um 
how good the anime is. I love the anime. I'd highly recommend it, especially if you watched or if you read the manga. Um, you'll definitely enjoy the show, probably, most likely. I like to check in on Attack on Titan, but it's good. Not my style, but it's good. Yeah. No, I, I liked what I saw when I saw the first two seasons. I just um I just didn't really get like super invested into it. Like by by the time the third season came around, I wasn't like I wasn't like caught up enough with it to keep going with it, if that makes sense. Um, anyways, are you going, are you going to go full-time YouTube now? Uh, yes and no. I mean, YouTube is like my job that is, uh, allowing me to live in this house. So yes, in, in that regard, but in terms of full-time, uh, no, I am going to school in the fall. I am going to, uh, uh going to college and, uh, that's going to be the move. I actually, I literally go to orientation today. So like literally after this live stream, I'm going to yeet over to college and, uh, and do like the whole like orientation thing. So it's going to be a very long day, which by the way, today's video uh, is probably going to go up pretty late just because I'm not going to be able to start editing it until after I get back. Uh, which I don't get back to like 4:30, so it's gonna be it's gonna be a long day. But stay tuned. We'll have a video later tonight. Uh, it's gonna be a you make the video uh, three, you make the video video three. So super duper excited about that. And then also we should have a new episode of co-op tonight, uh, which is really exciting over on Ryan's channel. And then we're actually gonna be finishing the Black White Two co-op on Monday. Uh, I think me and Ryan we're gonna be doing like a big old uh, just finale live stream to wrap that up, so we can go ahead and move on to some other projects that we have planned. Like we're trying to do a Soul Link. Um, um, so that's definitely in the works, but, um, yeah, should be good. Should be good. He has an hour. Yeah. Basically we're going to be live for, for almost exactly an hour. Uh, just cause you know, I gotta, gotta get out of here. Can't really go past that. But, um, anyways, hey, Astrid, how long do these coffee cup streams last? Oh yeah. An hour. <laughs> Literally an hour. That's typically, you know, that's not even not even just today. Uh, typically, we do go for about an hour. It's very rare that we go past that. So yeah, are you watching any new anime? Any suggestions of any recent anime? Um, yo, proper good games. Thank you for the sub. Um, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Uh, not really. Honestly, the only show that I've been watching is Breaking Bad lately. Uh, I've actually, I've just recently finished watching it for the first time and I loved it. And now Ryan and I were watching it together, him for the first time, uh, and then me for the, uh, the second time now. And, um, yeah, so Breaking Bad, it's not really an anime. In terms of anime though, I was rewatching Hunter x Hunter. I'll have to get back into that though. It's been a little bit since I've, you know, uh, I've gotten back into it, but I was rewatching Hunter x Hunter. I love Hunter x Hunter. I highly recommend Hunter x Hunter if you haven't seen it. Um, so that was a thing, but in terms of like new anime, I have not been watching any new anime, uh, right now, to be honest with you. Um... But, um, yeah, I, I want to get into, I heard there was a good show called Dr. Stone, uh, that I saw on Crunchyroll, so I might try and get into that one. Um, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. There's a couple shows that I want to, like, get back into or get into just in general, but I just haven't had the chance to. So, those are all just on my list. It's just been a very busy time, you know? Uh, dude, honestly, even if it's not anime, Avatar Last Airbender is the best. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I have a big, I don't know if you guys know this, but I have a big Avatar Last Airbender poster. Give me a second. Ah. Eh. One second. Eh. There we go. Look at this. Look at this. You guys might recognize this from uh, from my previous background. It's kind of hard to see in the Nashville setup though, just because it was so far in the back. But uh, yeah, this poster is actually going to be hung right behind here, as well as my FMAB poster. So I'm super duper excited about that. I got like frames and everything, dude. It's gonna be sick. It's gonna be sick. The background for this setup is gonna be incredible. Oh, I can't wait. Wait, there you go. Yeah, I just gotta, I just gotta be very careful with those posters because I really don't want to uh, damage them, obviously. Um, so yeah. It's going to be sick. It's going to be sick. I'm so excited to build this background, which by the way, we're going to be doing that soon uh, in terms of like the Cheez-Its and all that. I think we'll do like a, like a Cheez-It wall building stream. Um, so look out for that. It's going to be a good time. Glad I could check in, but I got to bounce. Birthday boys got things to do. Y'all happy birthday. Holy shinoli, bro. Get some happy birthday emotes up of the stream for Tucker. Hey, Google, sing happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Get some birthday emotes up in the stream. What's good? Happy birthday, man. Hopefully you have a great day. And uh, thank you so much for uh, for coming out. 
I really appreciate it. Anyways, um, <laughs> let me go ahead. Let me let me get some. Let me get some more lo-fi going. I mean, I love the Undertale soundtrack, but I, I gotta I gotta chill. I gotta take it back a little bit. Let's grab some glitch. There we go. There we go. Speaking of anime, I'd recommend watching a uh, Vinland Saga. It's an anime about Vikings and it just came out too. It's really good so far. That's awesome. That's awesome. I'll we'll definitely look into it. I'll definitely look into it. But yeah, happy birthday, uh, Tucker. Thank you so much for uh, coming out and hope you have a great day, man. Hope you have a fantastic day. Um, anyways, I haven't Blossom. I haven't Blossom. I'll check it out. I haven't. Oh, oh, you're, you're talking. You're talking to somebody. Oh, Blossom. Have you heard the Adventure Zone? It's also a D and D podcast, and uh, and also it got me into D and I I haven't played it in a while. Oh, the Adventure Zone. Yeah, you know what? What's weird is I um I never really got into it, but um I vaguely dipped my toes in the water. Um, like I used to kind of hear it offhand, uh, just cause my, my ex used to be super into it, but, um, yeah, that, that's really cool. You know, I've always wanted to get into D and D. I just haven't really like got my foot in the, in the water. You know, I haven't really stepped to put my leg in the pond. If that makes sense. Like it's something that I, I'd always been, I've always been interested in, but uh, I just haven't really been able to like dedicate myself to, you know, I feel like that, that goes with a lot of things, like a lot of, um, a lot of communities, a lot of like uh, uh, hobbies, I guess, over the span of the internet. It's like I, I want to dip my toes in there, but I just haven't been able to. Um, anyways, yeah, I'm obsessed with D&D right now. Frank, LOL, I'm writing a campaign to play and drawing all my friends as D&D characters on stream. That's awesome. That's awesome, man. Hmm. The best anime is Steins Gate and you can't say anything. I, I will... I will I will vaguely agree with you. I will vaguely agree with you. It's not it's not my favorite, um, but it, it is definitely up there for me. It is definitely up there. Steins Gate is a is a ten out of ten in my opinion. I love Steins Gate. I love Steins Gate, man. It's so good. Yo, Eleno, Eleno, thank you so much for the uh, two dollar super chat split between one dollar super chats. I appreciate it. Yo, question: uh, Were those super chats? Were they just um like uh, and don't mind or well, if you don't want to uh, obviously answer this, then uh, you don't have to by any means. Um, but Eleno, were those super chats? Were they just kind of uh, like offhand, or were they from the uh, the YouTube Premium uh, promotion thing they're doing? Because in case you guys don't know, if you have YouTube Premium, you actually get two free super chats. Uh, two free one dollar super chats every single month that you can put towards any streamer you'd like, and uh, it's just it's just kind of like weird like doing one dollar back to back. So I figured that might have been it. Uh, it's the YouTube Premium, yeah. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. But um, yeah, let me know, Eleno, if uh, if that's the case. I'm just kind of curious because um, uh, I've been I've been like slowly just kind of looking into that, you know. Um, like I've been dropping one dollars occasionally on Ryan streams because I have YouTube Premium. I literally love YouTube Premium. Um, wait, what? I didn't know that. Yeah, it's really cool. It's really cool. It's just kind of like one of those like little extra things that they offer uh, YouTube premium members. It's pretty pretty sweet. Ashley, if you want, I can int introduce you to the D&D &D life. Yo, FD, I'd appreciate it, man. I'd appreciate it. It's one of those things where like, you know, I, I want to give it a shot, but uh, it's, it's more about time, really, honestly. Um, but one day I'll, I'll try and get into it for sure. Fun fact, Game Boy Luke's favorite anime is Steins Gate. He said it in the three verse with Dylan and Ryan. Respectable. Respectable. I love Steins Gate. Mm. Hey, I just wanted to support before I get uh, prepared to drop bombs for my top fives. Damn! Eleanor, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're a legend. You're an absolute legend. Um, yeah, no, it's um, it's a good time though, man. Today, today's gonna be a good day. All right, let's just let's just let's just say it how it is. Today's gonna be a good day. All right, listen, man. If we put it into the universe, then odds are it'll be that way. That's how that's how this works, right? Um, yeah, hard part of D&D is a raging time for everyone, I think, yeah. I feel like you also need, like, a solid group, you know, like, you need a squad if you're gonna, if you're gonna really get into it. Uh, I feel like, you know, doing it on your lonesome isn't, isn't very productive. Um, anyways, Ashley, do you got a Discord? Yeah, actually, we do. Uh, link down below, uh, hopefully the link works, if it doesn't, let me know. Um, uh, for some reason, I, you know, I set the link to never expire, but... Sometimes it's it's stupid, but if you want to go ahead, uh, check that out. You guys are more than welcome to. Anybody is allowed in the Discord server. The Discord server is open to anybody. Uh, but if you are a member, you do gain access to a specific member exclusive chat in that uh, server where you can get updated on all your perks. Um, like I drop videos early in there, and uh, just other things like the uh, the spreadsheet for poke effects is in there. If you're looking to contribute to the Astro Lock. Um, so yeah, by the way, I've been loving the new setup, man. Hashtag couch crew for life. Yo, heck yeah, dark star. Heck yeah, man. I'm really glad you guys enjoy it. It's, um, it's turning out really nice. 
Honestly, like it's uh, it's definitely definitely a great setup. I'm having a lot of fun uh, with it, and I'm very proud of how like the whole couch thing is working out. Like I didn't expect it honestly to like work out as well as it did, but it totally totally worked out, and uh, and topped all expectations. Um, you know, because like going into like an idea like this, like this sort of idea is very crazy, and like even though I I took the time and I tried to plan it out as best I could. Um, it's still one of those things that could go very wrong, you know, like for, for God's sake, I mean, if the spacing was wrong or if I had gotten a measurement wrong or whatever it may be, you know, if the heights didn't match up, uh, it could have been a catastrophe, but no, it, it works really well. And I'm very proud of, of the setup so far. It really does feel like home. Um, so yeah, I tried coffee and never like taste. Did you take, did it take you a while to get used to it or did you bury it in like sugar and creamer to make it bearable? Oh, I, I cover mine in creamer. I cover mine in creamer. I don't, I don't like the, the taste of like, you know, hard coffee, hard, dark coffee. Um, so I, I pour a lot of creamer into it. Uh, I like, I like, I like a little bit of coffee taste, just like a little bit. So that way I know it's coffee, but, uh, but not, not enough to where it's bitter by any means. I definitely like sweet coffee. Um, which I know is maybe a pussy move depending on how you look at it, but uh, yeah, I just I just I just like the the sweetness. That's par partially why I usually get Starbucks because like the Frappuccinos, like that's what really got me into coffee was Starbucks. Because uh, Starbucks doesn't really taste like coffee, and then I I went from there, and then uh, you know, and then started making my own Keurig coffee. Um, anyways, wait, is D and D a video game or a game you play with your friends in person, or both? Because my cousin plays D and D with his friends in person, but I never really understood it. It's like it's like a tabletop sort of experience right um if i if i if i'm describing it correctly I, i'm sure D, D is like more of a a broader subject that i'm really giving it credit here but um i think i think it's more of like a, a tabletop like you sit down with a group of friends and like you you just knock out um i don't think it's a video game maybe there is a video game for it um that kind of caters to it but um yeah actually what is your name on it what is your name on it wait on what oh no Oh no! Hey God, I'm I'm totally blanking out. What I what was the previous message you put? Um. Oh, Discord. Discord. What's my name? It's uh. It should just be Asteroid or Asteroid Asteroid Et. I think my name is still Asteroid Et. Uh, from that one like Peach Et challenge thing. Um. Yeah, yeah. The Discord. Yeah. Sorry about that, man. Uh. Yeah. It should be. It should just be Asteroid or Asteroid Et. I'm at like the top of the, the Discord. So like, if you look over to the right, I should be like the number one. Uh like uh like like a member or whatever uh to be honest i'm not really i'm not really the best at discord i'm very bad about using the software and i don't really know a lot about discord to be honest but uh but it's a fun time it's a good time there's a few video games based on dnd i've played it before or i've played it online gotcha gotcha tea is good you know i'm not really much of a tea person um honestly i just don't really like the aftertaste of tea personally um mm. but um but yeah, I'm sure there are teas out there that I could get into. Like, I really like bubble tea. Bubble tea is really good. I have a good time with that. Um, but other teas that leave that, like, you know, tea aftertaste, I, I'm not really the biggest fan of, to be honest. Yeah, I want to make a Discord, but I don't think I'd be active much. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. You know, I, I didn't even I didn't even make my Discord. I, I literally didn't. Shout out to uh, Ayn Juco uh, for basically building it from the ground up. Um, yeah, no, I, I suck at Discord. Like, I, I am awful at it. But it's it's just one of those things that's, like, nice to have, you know? So, for, like, people who do use Discord, um, is a good way to reach them. So, you know, it's nice to have. Literally, the main, the main reason why I have Discord installed, um, is for collaborations. Because we use it, we use it to call. Like, for Soul Link and for co-op and that sort of thing. So, yeah. You know what's, t what's tastier than tea and coffee, though? The refreshing taste of G Fuel. Yeah, literally, man literally man honestly i i need this g fuel right now like your boy your boy's struggling out here <sighs> trying to get pumped up man trying to get pumped up gotta kill this orientation today you already know what's good ashley will you do more vlogs absolutely absolutely andreas i really really want to do more um for sure and that that's something that's just going to come with time especially with you know everybody being here um, for, uh, for Dylan's sleep lock, um, I definitely want to go ahead and, and vlog while they're here. So that's going to be a, that's going to be a move. 
Um, we'll see how that goes. And I, I wanted to buy like a dedicated camera for vlogging and for the studio room and all that. But I think I'm going to wait. I think I'm going to wait to get it and I'll keep using my uh, my current camera, uh, which is kind of unfortunate, I guess, that, that I have to wait like that and hold off. But it's just one of those things where like, you know, with all the moving expenses and all that, it's kind of too early for me to, you know, drop that much and feel comfortable. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, yeah. So I'm still, let me skip this. Hold up. Oh, this is a little too hype right now. Um, what was I saying? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. So I was talking about yeah, camera. So yeah, e even though I I don't have that new camera, I'll still be vlogging. It'll just be um, it'll just be more like, I I don't know, more like thrown together. I guess it's weird. It's hard to describe. Um, because uh, it's just I don't know vlogs. I I haven't really planned them out. You know, like I want to do them weekly. And I, I know, like, how I want to go about them. I just am not quite there yet. So, uh, yeah, vlogs are going to be happening. And uh, I want to start doing them weekly. It's just, um, it's just, I got I to gotta get going on it, really. Um, by the way, when's the collab with Dylan coming? It's coming soon. It's coming soon. It's probably not going to be until, like, August, September-ish. Um, but it's going to be really awesome. It's going to be, it's going to be sick. In case you guys don't know, me and Dylan, were doing a custom lock type, a lock type that we've made together. Uh, and it's a lock type that relies on us being in person together. So it's going to be, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be something unlike anything you guys have ever seen before. Uh, it's going to be sick. It's going to be sick. Honestly, all of your content is bombing, so it'll be fine. You know, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. But, um, yeah, so it'll be, it'll be, it'll be good though. Once we actually like get into the groove of vlogging. Um, it'll be, it'll be fantastic. And I think with everybody coming in July, it'll be a perfect time to, uh, to really get that going. So I'm very excited for that. Also, we have this thing called master's challenge coming up. I don't know how many of you guys know about master's challenge. I've talked about it vaguely, uh, over the past couple of months, but it's a series that I used to do way back in the day on the channel. Like I'm talking like 2015 asteroid i uh, used to do this it's like a custom uh, sort of game show type format where two people go into a showdown match and they have to build a, a team a pokemon team a, a wi-fi battle team they have to build a team in five minutes and then whatever they have at the end of the five minutes they have to go in and battle head to head and it's like a game show sort of aesthetic uh sort of sort of uh video series and i'm gonna be bringing that back in case you guys don't know i'm gonna be bringing that back with uh this sleep lock that dylan's doing and uh, and I have new GFX for it. I'm revamping the whole thing, uh, and it's going to be awesome. It's probably going to end up being a weekly series, and it's going to feature a lot of other Poketubers. It's going to feature um, a lot of just um, a lot of just craziness. It's going to be it's going to be something unlike anything that we've done on the channel. Uh, like even even t talking about like when the series was initially a thing before, it's going to be totally different from what it was back then. Uh, just because obviously, you know, I've gotten a lot better at editing. I've gotten a lot better at just making content in general. So I'm very excited about it. It's gonna be, um, it's gonna be interesting to say the least. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, and also, you members are actually gonna play a huge part in these, uh, in these master chat. I totally forgot to mention, but you guys uh, are gonna be playing a huge part because I'm gonna be integrating the poke effect system from the astro lock. I'm gonna be integrating that with master's challenge. So you guys are going to be able to contribute with challenges and with poke effects per se, uh, with these, um, with with these game show type videos so even even if you guys you know obviously right now with this weekend we have the astro lock going on and you guys are able to add poke effects for that series even if you guys don't get the chance to add poke effects for this series um well not uh, well we're gonna have more astro locks in the future but also you guys are gonna be able to contribute to master's challenge as well if you guys have a poke effect in mind uh that you can't necessarily uh for whatever reason add to this poke effect list so yeah, you guys are, and the cool thing about Master's Challenge actually too is that it's going to be an ongoing thing. Um, so you guys are going to be able to constantly be adding poke effects. Um, so it's not just going to be like a like a one and done sort of thing. You know, it's not it's not going to be like the Astro Lock where it's like you guys have a weekend and uh, you guys got to knock it out. It's going to be like a continuous ongoing thing. You guys can constantly come up with new stuff, which is cool. Uh, what is the series that you're doing with Dylan? I don't want to talk about the uh, the specifics of it just yet because we want to kind of leave it uh, leave it a surprise. But it is going to be a, a brand new lock type, a lock type that we've kind of come up with together. Uh, it's a lock type that relies on us being in person together. And uh, it's going to be something that you guys are, or something unlike anything you guys have ever seen before. It is, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's ridiculous. I'm very excited for Dylan and I's project. 
Um, it's gonna be awesome. Yo, hi Astro. I'm only able to be here because I've, uh, I actually got no sleep. Uh, no sleep tonight. I'm very sorry to hear that, Michael. Very sorry to hear that, man. Hopefully you're able to get some rest after the stream, um, or or even bef like during this stream. Honestly, man. Like if you're trying to go pass out, by all means. Um, but hopefully you're able to to get some rest, man. Anyways, I wonder if Dylan Sleep Block uh, will be sponsored by G Fuel. I wonder how many people coming in uh, into or coming to it have G Fuel sponsoring them. It's like a G Fuel party. I'm tired. LOL. <laughs> Dude, it literally is. It literally is like a G Fuel party. A lot of the people that are coming actually do have G Fuel sponsorships. So that's going to be crazy. That's going to be crazy. Hmm. Anyways, uh, Mee's up in the stream. He says, hey, Astro, I got some poke effects. I put some poke effects on the sheet, but I don't know if they actually show up. Um, if you type them out, and uh, if they're if they're like if they show up uh, visible on the spreadsheet, then um, then most likely they they worked. The Google Docs, what it does is it constantly updates, like uh, like as people type and um, and add to it. So you guys are all able to edit it, and you go through and um, and uh, you guys are all able to add you know poke effects in there, and it constantly updates as people add to it. So um, it should it should have updated if you type something in there, and it, it obviously is like showing up in the little box in the spreadsheet, uh, and you should be all right. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for submitting a poke effect, though. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. Um, anyways, what is your favorite uh, comp Pokemon? Mega Sableye. Well, okay, not not anymore. But like, okay, when I when I played when I played competitive back in Oras, uh, Mega Sableye was my shit. I love Mega Sableye. Log Mega Save Live. Is there a limit to how many we can put? Uh, no, not really. Not really. Um, I didn't put a limit on it because I didn't know like how many people were gonna be able to contribute. Uh, so I didn't want to like put a limit on it and then not have enough poke effects. You know if that makes any sense. So I would say, I would say there's no limit. You guys can do as many as you like, but. But, uh, just don't consume the whole list. You know, like, if you, if you see the list filling up pretty quick, uh, then maybe back off a little bit just so other people can, uh, can submit them. Like, I want to make sure everybody has a fair chance, um, if that makes any sense. Uh, so just, as long as you're not doing the whole list, um, you should be fine. I would, I would do, like, 10, 5, 10, something like that. Uh, just do, do the ones that you really want to do, and then just make sure to save some room for other people. Um, how long do we have to send you eggs uh, for the Astrolog? Also, hope orientation day goes well for you. Yo, thank you so much, Jazz. I appreciate that. Um, you guys have until Monday. You guys have until Monday, and that goes for poke effects as well as eggs. Um, so send in your eggs, send in the poke effects, and uh, we're going to go and get this going starting on Monday. I'll probably record episode one uh, tomorrow, actually. Probably around, like, uh, it'll be like, it'll be like late afternoon tomorrow. Um, so that, that would be, that would be when you guys like really have to get everything in. Um, I would just say, I would just say, get it, get it done ASAP. Um, I hate to put you guys on such like a, like a strict deadline, right? Um, but I would just, I would just knock it out whenever you get the chance. And if you guys like don't send in, in anything until Monday, I could probably add it in later. Um, like, you know, just because I record episode one, like tomorrow, uh, doesn't mean that, uh, that we have to have everything done tomorrow. You know, we just have to have most of it done, and then worst case scenario, I can import more eggs uh, for like episode two and all that. So, um, yeah. Unless people are just filling the list, though, then you're good. But to restrict blank spots, yeah, it's just uh, or depending on how many people submit, you could restrict effects to evolutionary lines, make it simpler. Yo, that would actually that'd be cool. That that would definitely be smart. Honestly, I didn't think of that. Um, yeah, I mean, as of right now with the poke effects, I'm kind of just I'm kind of just playing it by ear. And uh, I'm having the mods uh, like keep a keep a watch over the list, and uh, like I told I told Starverse to like just kind of skim through it and keep a look on it and make sure that like all the poke effects people are adding are you know doable, make sure they're plausible, uh, and make sure that uh, that like nobody is like consuming the list, you know. So Starverse is on top of that. Big shout out to her. Um, so yeah, we're just we're just kind of playing it by ear right now. I'm sorry that like the whole thing is kind of unorganized. But uh, I didn't. I didn't really know how to make it more. Um, what's the word? Make it more official. And also, I didn't want to add more rules because, like, I feel like there's already so much that like you guys need to need to know in terms of like the eggs and the poke effects. I just I figured I'd keep it simple. Just fill in the list, and uh, we'll we'll just kind of handle it on a case by case basis. So. Uh, you're doing great with integrating your community into your series, by the way. It's really cool and different. Yeah, I'm glad you like it, Deli Wop. I'm really glad you like it. I wanted to, you know, I wanted to do another Astro Lock, honestly, for, for that reason. Um, well, that reason was it was a big motivator, for sure. 
for sure. I love getting you guys involved, and, uh, and it's really cool to, like, have have people so involved on so many different levels. You know, it's not just eggs. I like, the whole poke effects plus eggs. Um, everybody has has something that they can, they can contribute to the series, uh, which I think is really cool. So, yeah. Anyways, hey, man, I had fun. Got to dip and go meet some friends. All right, man, best of luck to you with that. Thank you so much uh, for coming out, man. I hope you have a great day, and uh, thank you for chilling. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. How many mods do you have? Ah, uh, I don't know, to be honest. We have a good amount, but uh, how, like, how active they are in the community varies, you know? Um, so, it's like, it's like five, like, I would say five or six, like, active, like, really active mods. Um, but we, we probably actually have, like, 15. Just because a lot of them are, like, my friends, you know, I, I mod, like, my parents, you know, like, mo moderators, we're not too, like, we're not too mod heavy here on the channel. Usually because we don't really, we don't really have any problems. Um, like, our streams are typically very chill. Like, we, we, we don't typically have uh, a lot of issues here, which is uh, honestly incredible. I'm very, very grateful for that. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, I'm ready to tackle this day just chilling in bed enjoying this, but I'm ready to make this day a great one. Dude, heck yeah, man. Heck yeah, man. Let's go, man. Let's go, let's go. Dude, I'm excited. <sighs> I'm excited, man. Today's going to be a good day. Mm. Anyways, uh, person with the things and the stuff. Yo, I love your name. I love your name. Uh, they said, wait, please, how can I submit eggs and effects? Like, where's the sheet? If you want to go ahead, uh, check out episode zero of the Astro Lock, the egg submitting, uh, um, what's it like, the egg submitting email, and everything you need for that is explained in the video, and also it's in the description of that episode. Uh, when it comes to Pokefex, Pokefex are only available for members. And uh, if you're a member, you can go ahead and uh, check the member exclusive community tab uh, and that'll provide all the information you need for the poke effects there. But honestly, I would just recommend watching the episode uh, because I, I talked about basically everything you guys need to know in that video. Uh, and then I also, you know, provided more information in the description as well as in that member community tab post. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, I got animations to work on. It's long, but fun. Dude, heck yeah, dude. Heck yeah, man. Animation. Animation is probably, like, I, I've never done, like, traditional animation by any means. Uh, but I've always been interested in it just because it's one of those things where, like, it's uh, it's a very slow process. But the end product is is just so worth it. Um, so, big shout out to you, Dolly Wop. You're, you're killing it, by the way, with those animations, man. Like, you're, you're absolutely killing it. And uh, it's very impressive, honestly. Um, I wish, I wish I could, like like draw and animate um that's one of the that's one of the things that i wish i could do but i just i i just can't man i don't really have like that uh that drawing talent you know uh, which I, I guess you know nothing's impossible if i really wanted to learn it i could i could maybe sit down and do it but it's just one of those things that's very very tough you know i tried doing uh sending an egg last night after your video went out and my computer just doesn't want me to send an egg for you oh that's unfortunate no i'm sorry man I'm sorry. Maybe you could borrow another computer, uh, or maybe, uh, maybe, maybe it'll start working again today. I don't know, man. Best of luck to you with that, though. Thank you for at least trying to send an egg. I appreciate that. I wish I could animate or draw. Yeah, same, dude. Like, I'm just thinking, like, if I if I could draw and animate, that would, oh, that'd be so cool. That'd be so cool just for like content on the channel, you know? Because I I would, you know, I, I don't know like realistically how often I'd be able to do it. But I would love to do just like little like little animation things here and there, you know, like I could create my own custom, excuse me, my own custom like fire effects um, or create like, um, what's it create like a uh, like a little, little animation thing that could just like kind of add on top of like the editing cake, you know, like it, it'd be a really good and, and welcome addition, I think, to content like that'd be a, next, a really a whole new step up. Um, the only thing about it is that obviously it takes a lot of time and like editing already takes me enough time as is so I don't know I don't know how how well that'd play off, but uh, it'd be just cool to be able to do um, We need to get you an animator me and Christian who animated for Ryan joked how we need a personal animator for you and Dylan uh, One so the four of us can form our own animator club. That'd be cute. That'd be cute Yeah, shot to you guys man. You guys are you guys are so dang talented uh, I am personally I can animate but I'll, I'll it'll look like absolute garbage. Yeah, I, you know, I feel that I feel that. I mean, I, I can make a ball go whoosh, you know, like squishing, 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 whatever. You know how it is. I'd be squishing out here. Uh, yeah, I can do that. I can do that. It's kind of solid. But, uh, yeah, no, I just, I can't draw. Like, that. that's my problem is, like, I, you know, like, I, I've done After Effects stuff and I've done motion graphics. You guys have seen, like, with my intros and stuff. So, like, I, 
you know, if I really tried, if I really tried, I could probably do like the technical side of animation, but I can't draw like at all. So like, I would just be like, yeah, moving around a little circle. You know, I can't, I, there's not much I can do. You know, that, that's why, that's why I get my art commissioned. Um, and then I end up just, you know, moving it around with keyframes and all of that. Um, so yeah. What'd you think of the tea time with the boys? I thought it was great. DJ Hawk. I thought it was fantastic. Um, definitely, definitely trippy, but definitely fantastic. I definitely, uh, I'll give you mad, mad props for that. Uh, even though I, I think it was Jacob who actually made it, but may, maybe you were, you were partially responsible. I don't know. Mm. Oh, absolutely. That would be amazing, but that's so much work. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, it's hard work. It's hard work. Uh, it's very tedious work as well, which I think makes it uh, especially tough. But yeah, everything everything looks garbage until you do it enough times. Dolly Wop tips. You want to draw an anime? Just do it because that's how you improve. The, that concludes my Dolly Wop tip for the day. Yo, Dolly Wop, I appreciate the Dolly tip. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Yeah, practice practice does make better. I would say practice makes, makes perfect, but nobody's perfect. Uh, which, by the way, shout out to my fourth grade teacher for that one. She uh, she used to say that all the time. And uh, I don't know. That was just like one of those quotes that um, that really stuck with me. So, Miss Johnson, what's up? What's up, Miss Johnson? Yo, how crazy would it be if she was actually watching the stream right now? There's no way. There is no way. But that would be... That'd be crazy. That'd be crazy. Um, Yeah, yeah. You know, you ever think about that? Like your old teachers, like, like, well, I, I guess it's different for me because like I'm online, but, um, like I, I always think about like, like some of my old teachers, like finding, you know, my YouTube channel or, um, or like maybe just like, I don't know, like discovering what I'm doing somehow, you know, and being like, Oh, I taught, I taught that kid in like fifth grade. Whoa. You know, it's crazy. It's crazy. Um, so much has changed, man. Do you have a preference of what mods you want? Um, no, not really. Honestly, just, just send whatever you're feeling, man. Whatever you're feeling. As long as it's base form, uh, it can be hatched from an egg and it has level one egg moves and it's, it's legal. Uh, you're good to go. You're good to go. I'm in a very inspiring mood today. LOL. I can feel it. I can sense the inspiring energy. I respect it. Uh, I just woke up. What coffee you got? It's, um, it's not coffee. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I clickbaited you all. Um, yeah, no, I, I tried to make coffee this morning because we have a Keurig in the house. It's Brooks's Keurig, though, and I, I finally bought K-Cups for it. I finally got creamer and stuff, um, but I, I couldn't get the damn thing to turn on. Like, literally, the, the Keurig just would not turn on, and I was going to be late to, 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 I almost said school, uh, which I guess is technically right because I do have to go to school today. Um, but, but I couldn't get it to turn on, and I was going to be late for the stream, and I ultimately decided, you know what? Screw it, man. I'm just going to drink some G Fuel. Um, so, yeah. Uh, this, this is actually, you know, fun fact for you guys. This is the first coffee convos without coffee, which is kind of insane. But, uh, yeah, you know, and I was going to get some Starbucks, too, but there was just not enough time as I said, so I'm very sorry about that, um, anyways, 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 uh, I can't tell you how, how, I can't tell you how many times I've started drawing again, but stop after a few days, because I think it looks like shit, and I put my sketchbook away for a month until I start drawing again, I, I feel that, man, I feel that, you know, you, you try and get invested in something, but then you get discouraged, and, um, you know, it's understandable, it's understandable, but honestly, I think the way around that, and it's, it's kind of, um, it kind of contradicts, you know, it's kind of contradicting, but in order to get better, you have to keep going with it, you know? So it's like, on one hand, you, you see it and you get discouraged and you want to give up. But on the other hand, it's like, that's the only way you get better. Uh, and if you do keep going with it, and this, this honestly applies to anything, if you do keep going with it, I'm sure over time, uh, even if it takes a while, you're going to slowly just start seeing minor improvements. Uh, and then, you know, a couple years later, you're going to look back at like your, your old work and be like, holy shit, like, you know, I've come so far. Um, and I, I think that really just comes down to like researching and practice and practice and practice and really just dedicating yourself to it. You know, um, that, that's honestly, that's how I feel about editing. Um, and just honestly, YouTube in general, that's been, that's been like my whole journey really over the past like five years. It's just been like, it's just been like, wow, my content is shit. Uh, and then I just, I slowly got better, but I just, I love doing it. So I, I never really got discouraged. I just, I kept doing it cause I loved it. And, uh, and now I get to do it, but now I make good stuff. So yay. Um, yeah, it's a good time. It's a good time. Artist blocks are real. To be honest, I didn't even, I didn't even use my camera for a whole year after I finished college. I'm slowly picking it up again. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that too. For sure. 
for sure, for sure. I drew fan art last night. Haha, <laughs> yo, you're a legend, man. You're a legend, man. Thank you so much uh, for, for killing it. Oi, oi, is that you pronounce your name? I never know how to pronounce your name. Um, but yeah, this man, this man's killing it. This man's killing it. He makes some solid stuff, dude. Um, anyways, I look back on my old, oh, Fiery Dance stuff in this video. Speaking of talented ass people, what's up, Fiery Dance? He says, I look back on my old graphics the other day and because I kept doing it, I've improved so much. Yeah, honestly, yo, we have a lot of artisty people up in the stream. What's up, guys? What's up, guys? How you doing? Um, but yeah, no, like that, that's literally me. Literally me. Like, I'll look back at like my old editing and I'll be like, oofers, bro. Oofers, bro. Why did anybody watch this? But, uh, it's it's cute. It's cute looking back, and I I love looking back on that sort of thing. That, that that sort of thing. That's why um I I keep up like every video I've made on the channel. Like there's a lot of videos on this channel that do not represent uh like you know like what 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 content I make now. Like they're so vastly different. I mean I had a whole you know my channel was was 50% Minecraft for a very long time. And like if somebody discovers that video now or any of those videos now um they'll they'll think I'm a Minecraft channel, but I'm not. You know. So a lot of my content does not represent what I am, uh, at least nowadays. And uh, and uh, you know even even despite that, I still keep those videos up because I like uh, for people to be able to see how far I've come. You know, um, like my first video here on the channel, it's garbage. It's it's disgusting. You know, my commentary from way back in the day, it's gross. It's awful. If you guys go um, like go to my videos tab and then you go you know sort by oldest, you'll you'll see, man, my content was gross. Uh, but those those were genuinely the first videos I put up on this channel. Uh, nothing is unlisted. It's all it's all there, and uh, that's just because you know I like to be able to have the ability to look back. I like for people to be able to see the progress we've made. Um, that's a good time. Anyways, uh, your commentary is what is what matters. Yeah, commentary commentary is really important. Commentary is really important, and some sometimes sometimes I'll be honest, I I undersell commentary a lot um like i since i'm such like a such like an, a technical person and i focus so much on like the editing and, and behind the scenes aspect of content a lot of the times i'll kind of throw commentary off to the wayside not not saying that i disregard it entirely um luke thank you for the five dollars super chat man i appreciate it. he says just want to say you're killing it frank i like your content you're a smart boy you're a great person and get some wild turkey 50.5 percent yeah luke thank you so much man i i really appreciate that seriously thank you so much for the kind words and thank you so much uh, for the super chat, man. I really appreciate that. Um, but, uh, yeah, so it's like, I don't know. I, I feel like, like, not that I've disregarded commentary, not that I've said, you know, fuck you commentary, but I have undersold it. I have, I have like, you know, not fully given it the time of day, if that makes any sense. Um, like I, I typically get so wrapped around improving editing, improving behind the scenes that it's very rare that I, uh, you know, really focus on improving my commentary. It's just one of those things where, like, I've I've naturally gotten better as I've practiced it, uh, but it's never been something that I've like gone out of my way to improve at. Which, now that I think about, is kind of kind of weird. You know, I just I guess I am really just focused on every other aspect. Like, I, I've done so much. I can't even tell you guys how much research I've done in terms of editing. But I've I've never looked up like a how to commentate video. You know, which is kind of crazy. I probably should do that. Just to, just because you know, I mean, commentary it is a huge aspect of the video. Like I, I would say, commentary, uh, objectively speaking, is bigger. It's overall a, a bigger aspect of the content than editing uh, will be. I think editing, you know, even though like me and Ryan, we we treat it uh, on such a high standard. At the end of the day, objectively speaking, editing really is just like the cherry on top. You know, editing isn't really the content. The content is the commentary. The content is the personality. That that sort of thing. Editing really just kind of adds on top of that. Um, it really isn't like it's not like it's not like it's two halves of the same whole. Editing is like a just a layer of cake, a layer of frosting on top of the content, you know. Um, so yeah, and that, that that's the way that's the way that I think most people see it. Uh, but like me and Ryan being so editing focused, we 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 see it as more of like a, editing is the content. And the content comes second, which I, I think, you know, even though that's the way we, we kind of look at it, I think it's skewed, you know. Uh, well, I mean, you improve a lot since, hey, guys, it's Astro. I'm about to show, show you guys my face. Yeah. Hey, guys, Astro here. Yeah, literally. Literally, man. Uh, I, I like to, I think it becomes like second nature, to be honest. I think it's something you can f uh, more flexibly uh, you can have more flexibility with since it differs from person to person. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Uh, and commentary, commentary is so weird because like, 
it's it's so hard to learn. Commentary is very tough. Um, just like being able to keep a conversation going by yourself and like talking to yourself and having the confidence to be able to do that. It's, it's hard. It very, it really is hard. And it's something that really only comes with practice. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I, I don't know where I was going with that really, but like, it's, it, it's tough. It's tough, especially if you're like me and you're, you're like, you're naturally pretty introverted, which I know you guys might, uh, not, not believe me when I say that, but I, I am pretty like pretty reserved. Like I, I can be confident when I want to be, but like, especially when I started YouTube, um, I was very shy. I was very socially anxious and, um, YouTube actually really helped me break out of my shell. Like it's because of me practicing talking to a camera and talking to myself in my bedroom that I've been able to like be confident in real social situations, you know? Um, so yeah, that's, that's been, that's been a thing. <laughs> Honestly, like if I if I never would have done YouTube, I would probably be so awkward now. Um, like you know now now at least I can I can be confident when I need to be. Uh, but uh, but you know it's 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 a night and day difference. Uh, and I, honestly, like if you're if you're socially anxious anxious and you're, if you're looking to break out of your shell, um, commentating might be a good path for you. Honestly, like I know it's kind of contradictory, contradictory. It's like, oh, I get anxious in social situations. So why would I put myself out there? Which I totally understand that perspective for sure. Um, but for me personally, it really helped. It really helped because through the internet, it's not direct social interaction. You know, like you're talking to usernames on screen um, is, is like a, a, a way to look at it. I mean, obviously you guys are so much more than usernames. I'm not trying to like discredit you guys by any means, but you guys know what I'm saying. Like, it's not direct eye to eye contact. You're in the safety of your own home. You are by yourself technically, or, uh, uh, you know, yeah, technically I guess. And, uh, you're ultimately, you're talking to a camera. Um, so I think that commentary and I think content creation is a good way to, uh, practice branching out and then once you get good at like talking to yourself and talking to a camera uh then you can you can you know uh translate that into like actual social situations so hopefully that makes sense it's um i think it's good i think it's good it really helped me and i think i think it could really help a lot of other people too uh i've had the thought of making my own pokemon youtube channel i will just have to grind videos to get a good sense of commentating yeah literally it just it just takes practice it really does take practice. And the one thing about commentary that's tough and, um, you know, and, and I guess, well, okay, I guess how to describe this. It, it's tough for our style, um, our style of, of content. It's tough. Uh, but like my commentary style is like the never stop talking, like keep going sort of style. You know, like I don't, I don't take breaks. You'll see a lot of other YouTubers not trying to like point names or anything. And like, not even saying it's bad. Um, it's just, there are a lot of YouTubers that have a more chillax style, a, a style that's not revolved around, you know, constantly speaking a style that's revolved around, uh, you know, just being more chill, laid back, interacting when need be that sort of thing. And there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, but with our style here, and I say R because Ryan, Vinny, Dylan, they do the same thing. With our style, uh, we never stop speaking. We keep going. It's constant. It's ever going. It's ever changing. And uh, we like to keep the commentary flowing throughout the entire stream slash video, which that in and of itself is very tough. It's very tough to keep a conversation going, especially by yourself, like in a solo video uh, or in a stream like this. Stream Streams are easier because you have the chat to interact with, but it's just, it's very tough because it requires a lot of quick thinking on your head, uh, requires a lot of just a lot of improv and it requires a lot of, uh, of just being on top of it, you know, uh, breaks behind the chat a lot. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm trying to keep up with it, but I've also been just going off on these tangents, which that, that's another thing. If you're trying to like keep commentary flowing, if you're trying to really keep a good commentary flowing, uh, tangents, tangents are important. Just go on tangents, just rant about whatever the fuck. Um, you know, what, what I, what I do in commentating is like, I'll think about something and I'll talk about that as much as I can. And then I'll think about another thing and then I'll kind of branch off. So like, now that I'm talking about thinking about things, I'm going to talk about the fact that I think I'm going to have a great day today. Haha, huh? Segway. You already know what's good. So yeah, it just, it takes, it takes practice. It really does it, to be like quick on your feet like that. Uh, but being quick on your feet like that allows you to be really, uh, um, See, look at me losing my flow, but it allows you to be uh, really good in social situations as well, because then you're quick on your feet when you're talking to people and it, it just adds a lot, you know, it really gives you a lot of confidence. Anyways, 
Tangent aside, Graveyard, thank you for the five, uh, not five dollar, uh, membership. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, man. Welcome to the member squad. You already know what's good. Thank you so much for your support. You just gain access to videos early, member exclusive live streams, loyalty badges, emotes, all that great kind of stuff. Also, the ability to contribute to Pokefax moving forward. And I believe, I believe with Graveyard as the member here, uh, as a member here, we have one member away from our member goal. If you guys want to go ahead and help us out, I'd really appreciate you guys. As I said, you gain access to all those perks. Full list of perks is down below in the description, but then you also get access to be able to contribute to Pokefex for the Astro Lock this weekend and for Masters Challenge uh, moving forward over these next couple of weeks. Thank you so much for the membership. Uh, it's hard to keep up with chats. There's 47 people here, and I got no idea how to keep up with, up with it as well as you do. I try. I try. You know, it's just... um. Like I, um, if I, if I literally just sat here and I just read the chat, um, I could probably keep up with it just fine. Like that'd be, that'd be, that'd be great. That'd be, that'd be easy enough. Um, but, uh, but the problem is that I, I always end up going off on these tangents and the tangents always end up taking away from the chat in one way or another. Cause I end up just talking about a subject for a little bit and I, you know, while I'm talking about the subject, I'm not really paying the chat much attention, but I, uh, I try to keep up with the chat as much as I can. It's just... Um, you know, sometimes those tangents kind of come up and I just go on that. Aren't tangents that thing in mass on the graph where they don't reach the line? I don't know. I haven't, I haven't, uh, find, found mass in a year. Why are we talking about them? Yeah, that, I think that's a tangent. I think, I don't quite remember to be honest, but yeah, it, it is a math term. It is a math term. Something like that. Something like that. It's like that one song, Luke, and they don't stop coming and they don't stop coming and they don't stop coming. Yeah, that, that's me commentating, man. I'm literally just like, and they don't stop coming and they don't stop coming and they don't stop coming. Yeah, yeah, don't stop coming, don't stop coming. Yeah, it's about, it's about, man. Um, anyway, someone please help. I seriously can't sleep. LOL. Yo, Supernova. I'm really sorry to hear that, man. Honestly, I'd recommend, um, like, honestly, tuning off from the stream and, uh, and just kind of sitting in silence. Um, that typically helps me because, like, when I'm on my phone and stuff, I'm always you know, distracted. I'm always keeping my mind busy, you know, but if I kind of detach from that, um, do agree that that helps me fall asleep, but I wish you nothing but the best man. Uh, and hopefully you're able to get some rest. I see you Frank on the grind. You already know what's good. Chris, how you doing? What's up? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Yeah. 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 You try playing uh Roblox with Vinny. That'd be fun. That'd be fun. You know, I never really got into Roblox, but, uh, I've heard it's a, uh, I heard it's a fun game. Um, so that'd be cool. That'd be cool. I've tried commentating while playing games. It's literally such a skill. It's crazy. Oh, it's, pff, yeah, especially while playing games. <laughs> oh, boy, man. Like, uh, yeah, no, I mean, I I'm glad that I play Pokemon because Pokemon is pretty easy to commentate over. It's just like, you know, because with Pokemon, it doesn't really require a lot of attention. Like Pokemon, you can just kind of... You can just kind of press the A button a bunch of times and you're fine. But like games like games like COD or games like Mario Kart or like like Smash, like games that require a lot of attention, like a lot of focus, like that's that's tough. That's tough. Like Smash, Smash for me is like the hardest thing to commentate because I'm so focused on the game and I'm trying to like, you know, like obviously uh, like do well in the game. Uh, and also like there's not much to like when you're playing Smash, there's not much to talk about. You know, like, like, it's like, oh, I hit the guy, you know, oh, I'm going to go for a side B. Like, what, what are you, what are you talking about? You're just fighting. You're just going at it. Um, you know, so like, there's not much to really talk about there when it comes to smash. There's not like a lot of like, like on the, on the job sort of in the moment strategies you can talk about. Like you're literally just smashing the dude. So, you know, uh, smash is tough. And, it's, and also when you're playing smash, you can't like... You can't like look at a uh, a chat while you're while you're smashing because obviously you're playing trying to play the game. Um, so smash, I would say smash is probably the hardest game I've ever commentated. Uh, same with Mario Kart. Mario Kart's tough as well. Uh, but Pokemon, Pokemon works because Pokemon you don't really have to focus on the game. Uh, and also there's a lot to talk about in terms of like you know the team you're doing and the moves you're going for and it's more strategy orientated so you can talk about and really explain your strategy. Um, that sort of thing. So, and it's something, it's something you can talk about as you're doing. Uh, and it's also something that you can interact with the chat, um, while doing, which is really cool. So yeah, Frank, would you consider doing a Breath of the Wild Let's Play? Dude, I would love to. I would love to. I want to stream Breath of the Wild and do Breath of the Wild content. It's been so long since I've played Breath of the Wild. It's, uh, it's such a good game, man. I love Breath of the Wild. And especially with Breath of the Wild 2 coming out, dude, bro, bro. Yeah, I, I definitely got to hop on that. Anyways, um, 
You're literally just smashing people after 2019. <laughs> I mean, literally. Literally. You're literally just smashing people, man. I just joined and heard smashing is tough. Yeah, it is. It is, man. We're talking about uh, Super Smash Bros. and commentating with Smash. It's a good time. I like your attitude, man. Yo, thank you, man. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. How has it been being roommates with Ryan? Um, It's been good. It's been good. Overall, it's been it's been nice just to be able to have somebody, you know, in the same vicinity. Um, and, like, having somebody who's like-minded is, is really cool. Um, and also, I, I really like, you know, we, we go out and we get food. We go to the gym together. That's always a good time. Uh, walking in on his streams is a lot of fun. So, yeah, I, I would say it's overall been really good. It's been very solid. Like, uh, I think, I think I like, I like having a roommate uh, or two roommates. I have, uh, like Brooks is also our roommate as well. Um, but you know, I, I like, I like having roommates over, like if I was just living here on my own, like if I was just living here, like on my own, even, even if like Ryan and Dylan were neighbors, um, I don't think I'd want my own place. Cause like, dude, like, I don't know, man. It's, um, it's just kind of lonely. Like I, I like being able to go across the room and like see Ryan there, you know? Um, it's just, uh, it's just nice. Nice. Has it been weird living on your own? A little bit, a little bit. But overall, I've um I've adjusted pretty well, I think. Like I've adjusted better than I thought I would. Um, like I'm I'm getting pretty settled. It's it's starting to feel like like home, you know. Uh, and I'm having a lot of fun here. So overall, overall it's been good. Yo, the real Evan with the sponsorship. Thank you so much. Welcome to the member squad. I really do appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You just get access to videos early, member exclusive live streams, loyalty badges, uh, emotes, etc., 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 as well as the ability to contribute to poke effects for the Astro Lock and Master Cha or Master's Challenge coming up. Thank you so much for the membership. I think with your membership, we actually hit our member goal, which is awesome. Thank you all so much for smashing that member goal. 165 members is awesome, uh, and it's a fantastic number, and I just, I really appreciate you guys so dang much. So, real Evan, shout out to you, man. Uh, with that being said, though, with that being said, uh, me said, what is the PK hex zip in the actual log zip file? Okay, that's the that's the software. Basically, you open up PK hex, uh, and then you change your target game to uh, white, which I, I covered in the notepad document, and then you drag the PK five file, the template that I gave you, drag that into the software, uh, and then basically go through. You can look at the notepad document I gave you. You can edit all the things that I have listed there, uh, and then you go file, save as, save that file. It should save as a PK five. And then you can put that file into an email and you should be good to go. Uh, I'm sorry if that was really quick. If you have any specific questions, let me know on Twitter and I can do my best to help you out. Um, how's the Georgia traffic, by the way? I hear it's bad, so I got to prepare myself for when I move. It, um, uh, you know, it, it ain't that bad. It ain't that bad. It's, it's kind of, I haven't, like, I haven't really had any, um, any awful experiences. Uh, it was pretty, it was pretty bad going downtown. But uh, that's that's really it, to be honest. Like driving around our area, it's fine because like we're we're far enough from Atlanta to where it's not, you know, it's not awful because uh, we're we're out in the suburbs. But anyways, um, yeah, thank you all so much for watching, though. I really do appreciate it. I hate to wrap it up, um, kind of so soon. It, it feels kind of abrupt, but we have been live for an hour, and I really gotta go. Uh, go to orientation. I got orientation in like an hour here. So thank you all so much for watching though. I really do appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed, hit the like button down below, comment, subscribe. You already know what's good. Uh, we're going to go ahead and see if we have somebody to raid here. I don't think Jacob is in the chat in case you guys don't know. Jacob typically does the uh, coffee convo um, after party streams, but uh, I don't think he's live right now. So we'll go ahead. We're going to raid. Let's go ahead and raid um, this guy. He seems really cool. He's, uh, he's, he's doing uh, a Pokemon... What is that? Pokemon Insurgents Nuzlocke. Yo, heck yeah. We'll go and raid this man. He's like the only one that's live. Oh, wait. Oh, no. He's not live right now. Shit. Shit. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Ah, uh, shoot. No one's live. No one's live right now. Gosh, diggly darn it. Oh, man. I, re I was really excited. I thought he was live and I thought we were going to... Darn. Okay. Um, Who's live right now? Dude, nobody's live right now, man. Pokemon, I'm going to look up Pokemon streams, Pokemon, Pokemon live streams, uh, YouTube plays is live, yeah, no, there's like, there's nobody live right now, all right, um, we're going to go ahead, I'm just going to, I'm just going to, I'm just going to raid whatever, whatever Dylan's new video is, we're going to raid him, 
<laughs> I know it's kind of stupid. I know it's kind of dumb, but uh, all right, it's Soul Link. All right, cool. Yo, oh, actually, I, I helped edit this episode. Yo, this, this is actually perfect. All right, we're gonna go and raid. Uh, I know it went out nine hours ago, but we're gonna go and raid Dylan and Vinny's uh, Black White 2 Soul Link. If you guys aren't, aren't watching it, I highly recommend you guys check it out. I helped edit the uh, the intro moment in this uh, in this episode, so I recommend it. Thank you all so much uh, for watching. You guys are freaking amazing. Uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe. You already know what's good. Today's orientation, so I'll let you guys know how it goes on Twitter and all that, but I love you dudes. Thank you all so much for everything. I really do appreciate it, and I will see you guys in the next video slash stream slash whatever ends up happening. Peace! Bye!